Hey guys, so it's October and we're nearing gift giving season and you've got the main players crossed off your list, but you're still trying to think of what to get those uh, screen potatoes in your life. Those people who are obsessed with their screens, uh, their phone or their game system or computer at work, um, and you're trying to figure out what do you get them? What's the perfect gift? Uh, hi, I'm Elise Galloway, your green thumb enthusiast, and I'm going to show you today how to create a touch of grass terrarium. With just a simple glass container, a few gardening products, you too can create um, a low maintenance sense of the outdoors in small spaces. For this demonstration, you're going to need a glass jar. Um, that has approximately three inches of space below with room for the plant to grow. It can be open or it can have a lid, but a lid is not required. Don't forget you can find these types of jars at your local secondhand store um, or maybe even around your house or garage. Just make sure it's thoroughly cleaned out. Something like this has a lid and the lid is just going to help it retain moisture so it really is a set it and forget it type gift. Okay, so first you're going to start, as I said, with your glass with a little bit of room and then what you're going to want is clay pebbles. You can also use lava rock. You can find these on Amazon or any local hardware store. You're going to need perlite which is just an aeration type product. And then you're gonna want soil, just any kind of potting soil. And you want to make sure that these products are pre-moistened by you. So what I like to do is I like to use about a three parts perlite to one part water. Um, and it just helps it to kind of clump together instead of it like being super light and um, kind of getting everywhere. This helps it to stay a little bit cleaner and prevent it from uh, falling in between all the rocks and stuff. You also want to pre-moisten your soil. Um, the way I do that is by putting in what I want to use in um, a plastic bag. You can also use the, the bags that the soil comes in if you plan on using a lot. Um, and then I just put a lot of water in here and mash it up. And remember um, to massage it and flip it over once in a while so the water can access um, all parts of the soil. So let's, let's start. Okay, we're gonna first start with about one and a half inches to two inches of our pebbles. And all you're going to do is just drop them in. And you might want to tamp them down a little bit just to make sure that they're settled. And in this case, you want them about three, about three pebbles high, approximately an inch and a half. And that's about right. Then we're going to take our pre-moistened perlite and we're going to do about half an inch of perlite right on top and again I'm just tamping it down very lightly for this um, I'm going to show you with um, I'm going to show you examples of my grass and I have clover, but you can also use a small plant if you have one. Um, just make sure that the plant has room to grow and that's kind of, I know it looks a lot deeper than it actually is, but it's only about half an inch maybe of the perlite. It's just getting on the glass sides and sinking down a little bit into the pebbles. Okay, and once we have that, then we're gonna do about an inch of soil on top of the perlite, again, pre-moistened, and you're gonna tamp that down. Now, if you're using seeds, you can make this a little bit deeper if you want, because you don't have to cover the seeds most of the time. Um, if, 
if you're using a small plant, what you're going to want to do is uh, remove the pot that the plant came in and you're going to lightly tease out the roots and you're going to lay those roots flat um, on top of this one inch of soil and then you're going to mound a little bit more potting soil on top of that just to where all the roots are covered. You don't want your roots to uh, be in contact with air because then they'll um, they'll die off. So the roots should be covered. Now, this I'm doing this deep enough for my seeds. So it is a little bit deeper than three inches, but um, I don't plan on adding a small plant to this. This is just going to be seeds. So grab your plant seed and go ahead and sprinkle that on top. And then what you're going to want to do is once you've sprinkled your seeds on top um, or your small plant and you've packed your plant in there real nice, then you're going to water it. And you're going to water until you start to see um, the accumulation down in the pebbles. The water is starting to accumulate down in the petals. Pe pebbles, excuse me. Okay. And then the next time you're gonna water this thing is when you see the water is all the way down um, and the pebbles are dry. So I'll show you an example of that. Um, this is an example, you see the water down at the bottom, it's ready to water this one again. Because it's an open container, it needs to be watered maybe about once a week. If it's a closed container like this one, it will need much less maintenance. There's still water down in the bottom and it only needs watering about once every two to three months maybe. Um, this one is a few months or a few weeks old and I haven't touched the watering at all. They're still, it's still fully uh, immersed. So that's a true set it and forget it <laughs> gift right there, the terrarium. So um, that is how you're gonna do your terrarium. And that's the clover there. So um, don't forget to um, give your friend a greeting card and remind them to sit back from the screen, relax, and uh, enjoy a touch of grass once in a while. <laughs> Thanks.